To demonstrate all that Miss McMillan has highlighted, we have our very own innovative genius coming next to the podium. He has outfitted the Adopt River program with its own unique water quality monitoring app so that community groups can relay water quality data from any area of the country. He's also an advocate for advancing data collection and analysis in all quarters of our organization and has played a significant role as the developer of the Community Flood Early Warning System mobile app. Please let's welcome our Adopter Rivers Data and Information Officer, Mr. Alistair Brazan. Good day. Greetings to all officials of the Ministry of Public Utilities, other government agencies, the Water and Sewerage Authority, WASA, um, the Water Resources Agency, the WRA, specially invited guests and other presenters. I'm Alistair Brazan, Data and Information Officer here at Adopter River and developer of the CFUSE app. The CFUSE app specifically was developed to assist in data collection in the CFUSE project, this last stage of the process down here. It, was, it became necessary because we kept running into a situation where by the time WRA gets access to, uh, to, the, to a flood affected area, the cleanup would have already begun. So the strategy was to put the data collection in the hands of the first responders. So the first people who get there as early as possible could collect the data as soon as it's safe and practical. So the CFUSE app itself is a collection of tools that will assist in the um, relief effort, simple tools, right? But primarily it's made as a data collection tool. It has the forms that they will need to fill out. Let's look at a few of the tools that it, that it comes with. On the app, you have the emergency numbers. We have police. We have a few police stations here, right? We have fire, ambulance, Coast Guard, ODPM, and all the DMUs. You don't have to remember those numbers. They come in with the app. You tap them and they're added to the dialer. So without internet or without anything, you can call directly as a first responder. Right? We also have a map. The importance of the map is this map is, a, is built into the app. You don't need data. This would work in a situation where data fails. It's a multi-touch app. You can zoom in, you can zoom out. On this app, we have all the water courses, which is something that does not exist in Google Maps or Apple Maps. In it, we have all the disaster shelters, police stations, and hospitals. In fact, we have a fairly long list with stream gauges and all of this, a long list. So it's searchable. Here we can search in this case for like Arima. And here we pull up the stream flow gauge or something that might be a little more useful. Let's say the Arima Health, Health Facility. So all of this is built into the map. Again, it requires no data to do this and this will be in the pocket of the first responders, right? It, there's a lot of options. There are certain points. You can show all the gauges. You have the building types and you, there are certain labels and borders. All of this is built in into the database in your pocket, right? So we will have that. GPS, latitude, longitude, altitude is never really um, reliable, but you have the GPS location. You can save locations that are of interest anything that might be of use that should be in the CFUSE database, you can fill it in here. This will be saved. It would, it would appear in save locations. Let's hit the example. Here you can see the longitude and latitude here if you want to fine tune it. You can pull it up on the map, see exactly where it is. You can fine tune it and readjust it if need be. If your GPS was a little bit off, which sometimes happens if you're moving, or if you just turn your GPS on immediately, it takes, some time, it takes some time for the accuracy to increase. But you have all of that. You can also pull up the coordinates in Google Maps. 
because the built-in map is not a road map if you want directions and so on the app can't do it but you can load it in google maps for those features these things come again with the app great at the end of the day the purpose of this app is to assist in data collection for the first responders so the map has three built-in forms that would send the data directly to us. These forms are made to be, to be filled in as quickly and as easily as possible. Let's have a look at some of them. Re-engages. You fill in the basic information of who the reading was done by and so on. Maybe a description. Most importantly, which re-engage you're reading and the actual reading in millimeters it's saved where that data will go directly to the cfuse database flood forms after a flood event you will want to you'd want to fill in this form you fill in the name of the person the first responder who's at the scene maybe a description the date and time is filled in for you and you could tap from one of the locations here to choose where it is it also pulls up on a map so you can fine tune it if need be when you read, in this case, a uh, crest gauge, you put the reading. If for some reason it, you do it via reference point, there's a spot to put in that information. You can fine tune the reference point and put the reading at the reference point. You can put a photo. In this case, we won't. But all, the important thing is all this data goes directly to the CFUSE database. Let's see the last type of form, the disaster assessment. It's a multi-part form. You put in the basic information first, where it is, what regional corporation, who's filling it out, etc. Then you attach the information. In this case, an agricultural point was affected. We can pull it up on the map to get the GPS coordinates, and we can tap to take a picture. That is attached to the form. Let's, uh, let's attach another one. In this case, a public building was also affected. We pull it up on the GPS. We can fine tune the point until it's correct. And we can tap and we can take a picture of this too. This, so you can see that it, you very rapidly can go through an area, a town, and do a quick assessment of it. So that data will stay on your phone until you have internet access and so on to send the data to us. Let's see what sending the data looks like. You tap the send data button, you hit the sync data, and once you're online, it uploads any images, your crest data, your rain data information, and it goes in. At this point, the data comes to our CFU servers and is ready for integration into the CFUSE portal. The goal of this was to get data and to make the data collection more efficient. So those of you who are first responders and members of the CFUSE project, we implore you to use the app, have a good hard look at it. It is technically in beta still, so we're looking for as much feedback as possible. We want to make the app better and more efficient and more useful. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Alistair. And also thank you to Marissa.